one is Elliot Kipchoge breaking breaking the two, the sub two hour marathon time, which is nuts just to say out loud, isn't it? Somebody, there's a human out there that ran under two two hours, right? And half my oh, sorry, a full marathon. Which I don't know if we if we just specify if we just spec that out in terms of times on the calculator, right? So let's say you say what he ran <laughs> one hour fifty nine, right? You uh twenty six. What's that? So he ran each mile basically effectively. He ran a six minute mile average maybe less than that every mile for 26 miles that is insane six miles that's just insane but yeah Elliot Kachogi was able to break that um record the other day I watched it live in the morning before I went out for my run it was very motivating I have to say I usually try and watch like David Goggins clips on his Twitter but now he's doing the Western States 250 mile races for that so it's not really uploading as much but I was able to catch a bit of this um, live stream on YouTube but Elliot Kachobi was, was kind of running through the thing and I've got it up here on the list so you can check it out here on Twitter but there's videos uploaded Elliot everywhere on it. but it's just amazing man oh, so amazing and he was able to kind of run into the arms of his wife and children at the finishing line such a cool dude, Elliot man. Cause the cucumber. Just like, no, I mean, like nothing ever Vienna. happened already before. Imagine that. Imagine running 159. 159 is the official time he ran. Super chill. I'd be having my shirt off. One I'd be. If, if, honestly, if I was in Kachobi, my shirt would be off. I'd be running up and down the street naked. I'd be screaming. I'd be doing loads of that America. Like, yeah! Right, he's just super calmly running to the, the arms of his wife and just kept things moving. Do you know what I mean? It's like, Jesus Christ, man. You just. Broke the flipping record, mate. Come on. <laughs> React more. She's like, eh, minor thing. You know what I mean? So, so cool to see. But the details behind it are just insane. Because, again, you have to imagine, right? He ran the whole, the whole marathon in the time. He, he ran just basically my fastest time running a half marathon was one hour, 47 minutes. 47 minutes, right? And I was in Barcelona. And I think after that, I ran probably 149 in Chippenham. And I think maybe the, the Hackney half marathon, which killed me. I ran maybe 2005, right? So he ran quicker. He ran a marathon quicker, right? Full marathon quicker than I ran my last half marathon at the Hackney Half. That is just insane how quick that is, how fast that is running. And there's actual videos of people that are running next to him side by side recording to see how just how quick he was running. You hear the breathing of the person that's recording the video. You're like, shit. It's like, um, I remember my little brother went to go see um the, um, the Tour de France. I think the cyclist, cyclist by the... By Canning Town or somewhere around there, I forgot what 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 um, race it was. But he said like you you don't understand you don't understand how fast these guys are going until you're like on the road watching them zip by you. And it's like whoosh, whoosh. so imagine running what what a professional marathon runners must look like when you're up close and personal, with it. especially when you're running yourself. Right, I ran myself like three miles or so a day, uh, maybe more if I'm feeling in the mood and stuff. Right? Yeah, so I know how what it is to run quickly or in my head to be running quickly. So I can picture. I've got a better reference point from it. So when I'm standing on the side and I see someone like Ilkin Chogi just running by me and he's running a half marathon at the same pace that I'd probably run maybe a 5K, it's just insane, insane. And some of the facts behind it as well are even more illuminating. I think there's a really good article here. Oh, let me just get this off. I'm always kind of forcing all these dumb applications to load. Come on, get out of here. There's a really cool article here on BBC actually that kind of mentions just how quickly he was going. Let me get up on here. And just to kind of get that perspective. And again, it's just w funny because these things, same, similar to skateboarding, when someone does a trick that no one else thought was possible, it immediately opens up the floodgates so everyone else will start doing it. Because I don't know what it is about the brain. I don't know what it is about human nature that suddenly when someone does something and you realize it can be done, or automatically something in your brain just kind of clicks. You're like, oh, and it, it just becomes reality. It's not something that you question anymore. And this is what, the, this is kind of the scary thing happening now for the future. Or mm, future? Yeah, this is, this is a scary thing that we have to kind of, uh, be aware of or kind of anticipate like how fast are the kids coming up watching him walk run right so the kids are 15 and under in school and shit running you know professionally or running as part of a course or as part of a club or they've got scholarships or they're at university running for their track team imagine what this performance must do to them and for their confidence and what they're going to think is possible and what they're going to think is achievable right you already got you already got that kid is that white lightning that american kid that runs super quick um like and he's really young, so imagine what's gonna do, what it's gonna do to a new generation when they see someone like Eli Kipchoge running a half, a fucking full marathon in one hour fifty nine minutes. It's just insane. Um, so it's a really good article on the BBC, kind of, kind of breaks down exactly why this is so important. Uh, blah, blah, blah. 
So this is some, another video of it as well. Again, right running down. This is history line. unfolding on the streets of Vienna Look this morning. It's a Saturday run like we've never seen before. Listen at the Insane. noise. The, the stride patterns are just right awesome. Him him. Him. Hard... He's essentially just like, look, 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 look how far up his heels are flicking to his bum. Right, um, the body posture is just leaning forward just the ever so slightly. Just an absolute beast of a man. Work and discipline. He's, he's pointing at everyone that he's seeing he's like so, so, so cool. So anyway, this, this article from BBC says Eli Kipchoge breaks two-hour marathon uh, by 20 seconds. Eli Kipchoge has become the first athlete to run a marathon in under two hours, beating the, the mark by 20 seconds. The Kenyan 34 covered 26.2 miles in 1 hour 59 and 40 seconds in the 1 hour, one hour 59 challenge of Vienna, Austria on Saturday. It will not be recognized as official marathon world record because it was not in open competition as he used a team to uh, retain pacemakers. This shows no one is limited, says Kipchoge. Now I've done it. I'm expecting more people to do it after me, which is amazing, right? Um, the Olympic uh, champion who holds the official marathon world record at two hours and one minute, so it's not even like he's out of his realm, right? Set in Berlin, Germany in 2018. Oh, actually, that's what I'm thinking about doing, actually, the Berlin half marathon. Uh, next year i think it's sold out for the most part in how many days are sold out for the Berlin half marathon uh where is it yeah it's sold out still no it's not so the allocation from 1000 to 15000 runners is already sold out so i need to jump in quickly so i think i'm going to decide in the next couple of weeks if i'm not going to do it but i feel I'll, i think i'm i think i will it'd be a good time just to kind of go out to berlin have some good time go bergheim or no actually go, run a half marathon in the morning on a sunday and then go to bergheim on the on the, on the in the afternoon right i do think running a half marathon that's a flipping good schedule i think it's the afternoon i think it's the 5th of april the berlin half marathon is the 5th of april yeah it's on a sunday so you can go run the half marathon and then when you finish, go shower, change and then go to Bergheim. Like, pfft. do you know what I mean? Absolutely perfect. So I'm going to probably do that um, coming up very, very soon. Uh, anyway, let's go back to Kipchoge here. So the Olympic champion holds an official record. Knowing he was about to make history on the home straight, the pacemakers dropped back to let Kipchoge sprint all over the line. You know, it was really good. They had like a weird like trying, like a V formation. So Kipchoge was sort of like at the base of the V. Right uh, at the bottom of the V, and then he had like two runners and like two runners, like you know, cut, um, divided in front of him. And then they had these lasers on the floor that were essentially the pace of what he had to keep in terms of where he had to be. And the pacemakers were they, they kept rotating. I, I don't know how many miles I think they kept doing a, some sort of 5k, they kept doing like three and a half miles each. And they kept rotating, and another group of pacemakers would come in, and they'll keep running with him. It was fucking awesome to see. And then just as they got to the end bit, he did, they all just dropped off, and he started sprinting in between the middle by himself. The four-time Mar uh, London Marathon winner embraced his wife Grace, grabbed the Kenyan flag, and was mobbed by his pacemakers, including many of the world's best middle and long-distance runners. Kipchoge, who compared the feat to being the first man on the moon in a build-up to the event, said he had made history just as Britain's Sir Roger Bannister did when he ran in the first sub-four-minute mile in 1955. I'm feeling good. Good. After Roger Bannister made history, it took me another 65 years. I've tried, but I've done it. This shows it's possible. It's the positivity of sport. I want to make it a clean and interesting sport. Together we can run. We can make it a beautiful world. Yeah, of course. What what a, what a beautiful man. Absolutely nice message. With a leading... Like, this, this, this is the scary part, right? With a leading pace car beaming green lasers on the road to in indicate the required pace of 2.5... Um, 2.50 kilometers... Uh, per kilometer, sorry, minutes per kilometer. Kipchoge never went slower than 2.52. To break the mark, he had to run 100 meters in 17 seconds, 422 times in a row. Now, for those of you listening, I do a little bit of CrossFit endurance, right? It's this really cool workout that um, Brian McKenzie kind of spearheaded that essentially is a combination of CrossFit and endurance training, right? So for people that want to run and want to get really fit, but also don't want to do the you know insane mileages that people do when they're running half well when they're doing normal runs when you do like a couch to 5k or you do like a couch to half marathon you know you usually you know you usually go around usually in the between the 10 to like 25 miles mileage a week right again it basically it's, it's the kind of methodology of like in order to get better at running you just need to run more well brian mckenzie's got this incredible method where you don't need to run as much as you do in a normal running method but essentially you do a lot of uh sprint workouts so a lot of like 100 meter repeats 200 meter repeats 400 meter repeats 800 meter repeats and sometimes a thousand meter repeats right and the idea behind that is to keep a consistent level of pace and cadence so that when you then go and run your full distance race you know how to keep that cadence and that pace up so that you don't you don't drop your split times right so i've got used to i've got, i've understood how hard it is to run consistently right around the track 
or around whatever it is or that upper road uh, a specific distance for a specific time again and again and again so for him to run se- 100 meters 17 in 17 seconds 422 times in a row is just insane how quick he's running that consistent pace where you just can't drop because sometimes you know we've all done half marathons or we've run long distances before sometimes a mile two and three are your fastest and a mile three you're essentially just holding on for dear life right and then you get to the end of it and you just sprint at the end but essentially you, there's loads of dips and divots right you're just essentially telling your brain look i'm going to give you a bit of rest for like you know i'm going to give you 800 meters worth of rest and you're going to get you're going to crank up again but imagine running at that elite level where you're essentially sprinting the whole time it's just insane how much the level of athleticism and talent that's involved in it is just insane but with that being said I'm still not looking at this as like this is unachievable. I'm still looking at this as like, you know, if I trained hard and I committed myself to this training life and I committed myself to running, which I have done, right? Like I mentioned before, I don't think I'm naturally a long distance runner. I don't think I was naturally born to run long distance, but I've made myself into this person. I think if I trained hard enough, I could probably do that or get close to it. I think so. You just have to give yourself to it. You have to dedicate your life to it. You have to run more than I've ever run before. I have to, you know... There's loads of things I'm going to have to do that I probably won't willing to do right now. But if I wanted to do it, I probably could do it, I think so. And again, that's the whole point of him doing it, right? It's like to inspire people like me, the average, you know, working man, to think, you know what? That's possible. I can go do it too. But yeah, um, it's just incredible, incredible, incredible story. Um, So he ran it in he ran it 100 meters in 17 seconds, 422 times in a row. He was 10 seconds ahead of the schedule at halfway mark before appearing to slow um, with a few 252 kilometers only to regain the pace and kick on again. That's in, that's where your real athleticism comes in, right? Where you're able to slow down, you're able to get fatigued and then kind of find another gear. Like, that's just insane. Um, Kipchoge was in, assisted by a team of 42 pacemakers, including Olympic and Olympic 115,000 meter champion Matthew Centralwitz and Olympic 5,000 meter silver medalist Paul um, Chalimo, Chilimo and, uh, and the Limebrighter brothers um, Jacob and Philip and Henrik. They rotated in and out um, running in formation around Kipchoge with former 15,000 and 5,000 world champion Brendan Leggett anchoring the final leg. They're among the best athletes in the world. So thank you, added Kipchoge. I appreciate them for accepting this job. We did this one together. Kipchoge coaches delivered him water and energy gels by bike over 4.4 laps of the 5.97 course in the city park. In- instead of having to pick refreshments up from the table as in all competition marathon runners, these aids are not allowed under the rules of the IAF, IAAF Athletics World Governing Body, which is why he will not be recognized as a feat. That's the only thing. Because he, he got given gels on a bike. Come on, man. That was superhuman. The attempt was uh, funded by uh, the Petron Economics Company, Ainos, owned by Britain's richest man, uh, Sir Jim Ratcliffe, who also sponsored the cycling team the same name. But yeah, look at that, man. Look at the split time. That's just insane. He ran a 5K in under 15, 15 minutes. Just, you know, I don't know about that because the quickest 5K I've done is 25. So he, yeah, he ran... Jesus Christ. He, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's just insane. He ran a 10K just over the time that I ran a 5K. Wow. I can check his request. The course consisting of 2.2 2 miles and 67, 2.67 miles stretches and two small loops so that each end was lined with spectators. Unlike his previous attempt at Nike breaking project Monza. Okay, he asked for people to come down. That's awesome. Nike also provided Kipchoge with a new model of the shoe that has been worn by athletes running the five mile. Oh, the Inos team selected the first of the, the. But yeah, just incredible. Incredible performance by everyone involved. Well done, Kipchoge. Absolutely smashed it. And again, inspiring people like me, average Joe blogs here, to think that I can go and do it too. Probably can't. But why not think that I can do it, all right? Why not think that I can do it? Because if I train enough, hard enough, why not? He's a human just like me. And if he runs, I can run, right? Right?